What's up friends? Welcome to the Friendly Food Forest channel. Unfortunately, we've been a little bit too friendly in the potato patch. Got the Colorado potato beetle biting into a lot of stuff around here. It's actually taking out a few of our plants. So let's go ahead and take in a closer look and see what we can do to fix that problem. So as you can see right here, we didn't really get to these critters as quick as we would have liked to. They actually took a few of the plants right out. And we can go around and I'll show you some at different stages. This one's getting to adult stage. And let's go around and see if we can find some of the little ones. And also what we've done to prevent some of this problem. So here's some of the smaller ones right here. Here's another real small one right next to a bigger one so the one on the right is obviously the real small one and you'll also see anywhere they've been really munching some of that black spots and i'm guessing that's some poo you can definitely see the leaf damage around the edge so as you see some of them signs look a little bit closer for that light orange a little bit slimy they'll roll up like a little roly-poly we call them it's kind of similar to that it'll roll right up and try to hide out and not move around so that's your Colorado potato beetle let's see what else we can find so if you start to get a real bad infestation you'll see all different sizes you see them around here and another thing to look out for and I don't know that we'll have any right in this area but on the underside of the leaves you might see a little orange spot a couple little orange spots and that can be the eggs for the next generation coming up so what we're doing to kill these off is we're picking them off by hand. They do drown quite quickly. And then we're going to start applying BT. I've picked that up. It's about to rain, so we're going to wait because that can get washed off in a rainstorm. But a uh, little BT will also help with these and some of the other creatures. It'll also help keep rid of tomato hornworms and any of the things kind of in that category. So it's definitely time to get rid of this because the smell is something awful. But we've picked off 500 to 1,000 of these things already. And we're picking off more right now. After the rainstorm, we're going to hit them with that BT and hopefully prevent this problem in the future. I hope that helped you looking at a few stages of the Colorado potato beetle. Remember, if you get them early enough, just one or two on the plant, you can pick them off by hand and get rid of them pretty easily. And don't forget about that BT that can help you spray it and uh, kill them while you're not out in the garden. It can help work for you. So share this one around, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll be coming at you real soon to show you all the work we've been doing on the Friendly Food Forest channel.